Hello friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead. A little pantry chit chat. I got a couple things I wanted to tell you about. I had a good sale. Okay, Sherry from Two Family Homestead did a video on um, these uh, vacuum sealer bags from foodvacbags.com. That's foodvacbags.com. That's a tongue twister. Anyway, she said they had uh, bags on sale. And you could get 150 bags for, I think I paid 20, 21, 22 dollars. Not that much. I, I was getting them from my local butcher and I was getting 100 bags and I was paying 38 dollars. So I, I got this the other day, but I have not opened it because I was going to wait so that you all could see the sale. Because if any of you have a food saver and this is a good deal, well, you might want to go and order some. Right? Right. I got a couple of things here. And by the way, we did our... Um, I'll have that video up tomorrow. We did the... Uh, Oh my gosh, this is kid proof. Here we go. We did the pumpkin pumpkin roll video today, Maureen and I, Miss Mo. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna try and get that up for tomorrow. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about that. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness, there's a whole load of these. That's a nice box. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. Okay, it says right here, I've got 50 pints, 50 quarts, and 50 gallon bags, and my total out the door was $25.22. That, friends, is a fantastic deal. Now, I'm going to save that bag because I'll probably be putting them back in there, but I want to open this up because I want to look at these. Here we go. Gosh, these are nice. Yeah, I thought if any of you have the food, I use my food saver all the time. So I'm, these are beautiful. These are the gallon ones, and they're pretty. They're pretty heavy, and they're just like the ones I used to get from my butcher. They're clear on the one side and have the rough edge on the other. These are nice. Nice, nice. I would recommend that. And then when she did her video, and if you're really interested in them, you can go to, I don't know if you know who she is, but it's Two Family Homestead. And she did a video on these, using them. She actually used them in her food saver. So that's, that's what sold me on them. This is nice. These would be nice for spices and all, all kinds of stuff. Oh, I'm excited. This is... This is like Christmas. This is a good money saving because you know what? They are expensive at Walmart. I don't know if any of you ever bought them there, but it's almost, it's ridiculous. So, that's that. Those are nice. Think I can fit them back in here? Look at there, I did it. Okay, and then I'm going to put them right back in this box because that's probably where I will store them. Alright, so that is... Foodvacbags.com. Check them out. You're probably going to like them. Okay, and remember when... Oh, my garbage can. Remember when we did the coleslaw video? Okay, now this one's all my fault. Because I didn't get to Miss Moe's in time to film part two. Shame on me, I'm sorry. So she wound up having to can her sauerkraut but look at this is beautiful it turned out absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to make it with some uh it's still cold i was out we were outside i had it in my car i can't wait to make it with some sausage some smoked sausage or polish sausage yum fantastic and this is my prize of the day okay this friends is a rectangular roaster 
a Martha Stewart collection. Okay? Not that I'm big on Martha Stewart. I'm big on cheap. And uh, once a year, I always go into Macy's. My mother and I, every year, one day we always hit Macy's. And she keeps a close eye on it because we always hit their one day sales. Because you can get stuff like dirt cheap in there. Only on your one day sales or their clearance specials. Which isn't as great as a one day sale. Anyway, this is a beautiful roaster. Look at that. Okay. Got a nice insert for it. I've been wanting one of these. But every year I do this. I go to Macy's every year. One day, and who knows what I'm going to get, but I'll get something. Every year I get some kind of a pot or pan or something. This is beautiful. It's got copper handles on it. It's stainless. It's 17 and a half by 12 and a half by 5 inches high. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, these are regularly, and I think they're pretty much the same pretty much everywhere, anywhere between $70 and $90. Why is it so expensive? That's just crazy. I would never pay that much for something. But I got this, and I left the receipt on here, just so you would see it. I'm going to see if you can see it. I got this for $25.43 on a one day sale and I saved right down here I saved fifty six dollars and, and zero cents perfect that's the kind of sales I like but but you know it doesn't matter yeah I did save that much but I didn't really because I'd have never bought the darn thing for eighty dollars are you kidding me but for 25 I will. I like it for 25 I can't wait to do a video using it. I don't know what I'm going to make in it, but look at that. It's shiny and beautiful. And take a good look because it'll probably never be that quite that shiny again. I mean, I keep my pots and pans nice, but beautiful. So, that was what I wanted to show you. I've been busy. I haven't done any videos in the last five days, four days, something like that, because I have been working almost nonstop on my cookbook. I'm trying to get it put together and get it done. There's no way I'm going to have it done for Christmas, but it'll probably be done for a little after Christmas. Hopefully. Depends on how much time I got to dedicate to it because it's a lot of work. I have got a box of recipes from my family, from recipes that I gathered over the years. And it's probably half the size of this table and, you know, half the depth of this table. And, oh my goodness, going through that and trying to sort those out and take the ones that I can put in the, in the book that, you know, I mean, recipes aren't copyrighted. Some of these recipes I could have gotten from God knows where. I, I don't know. I don't know where a lot of them come from. There's stuff, recipes I got in there that I've been using since I was 20 years old. Where I got it from, I don't know. It's clipped out of a magazine. So I can't really... Um, some of them are handwritten. I can't really, you know, attribute where it come from or give whoever credit. But I write things in my own words anyway. I don't, I don't never copy anything word for word, and I've tweaked so many of my recipes that, you know, that's just the way it is. But anyway, they're fun. I'm having a blast with it, and I'm finding, I found recipes that call, oh gosh, I got recipes in my box from my grandmother when they used to get spry. You know, the old, out of the 40s, 30s and 40s, they had what's called spry, and it's like our Crisco shortening now. And uh, I've got some of that, them, uh, some recipes from my grandma that call for spry. It's hilarious. Anyway, she used a lot of lard. Anyway, so not too much going on. I want to go because I want to get that um, video edited. And I got two of the, the most beautiful uh, pumpkin rolls put in my freezer. One for Chris or one for Thanksgiving and the other for Christmas. Wait till you see that video. You're going to like it. We always have fun when we do stuff. So I'm going to go. I'm going to get that edited, get it uploaded so you can all view it and have fun. 
and that's it. Check out those, those, check out uh, Sherry from Two Family Homestead, her video on that. And, you know, she can, she can, uh, she can tell you more about it in her video. But I'm glad I got those bags because, holy crap, that saved me a lot of money. And what am I? I'm into saving money, big time. Money, money, money. Save it. I don't have it to save, so I have to save it. All right, friends. Thanks for watching.